This video is on ascending cholangitis. Ascending cholangitis occurs when there's an obstruction in the biliary tree, when there's ever this stasis of fluid, bacteria can pull there, and in ascending cholangitis, the bacteria then moves upwards. And this is a medical emergency because there's a risk of perforation, peritonitis, and sepsis. The clinical presentation that's important to know is defined as Charcot's triad. So the patient will present with the right upper quadrant pain, jaundice, and fever. Reynolds pentad is a poor sign because it is both the triad plus hypotension and altered mental status. And this emphasizes that the risk of perforation, peritonitis, and sepsis has likely already occurred. Other symptoms to be aware of are pruritus or itchiness due to increased bilirubin due to the obstruction nausea and vomiting can be secondary to pain, bowel or bladder changes, so we're talking in, um, constipation, but also maybe diarrhea as well as urinary attention or increased urinary frequency, chills and rigors, especially if the patient is septic, and you may have symptoms related to the underlying cause. So the underlying cause or risk factors are things that cause obstruction in the biliary tree. So often this can be gallstones and the risk factors are colloquially known as fat, 40, female, fertile, fair, so they don't have to be all of these, but some of these are more nuanced, you can think, like increased estrogen, so fat or diabetes, HRT, female, or as well as um, malabsorption things like Crohn's disease or spinal cord injury. Other causes of obstruction include strictures, so this can be like a congenital thing or it can be due to an insult. So autoimmune is primary sclerosing cholangitis or an insult such as a past ERCP. You can also consider malignancy such as choriocarcinoma, so cancer of the gallbladder or biliary tract or pancreatic cancer or any causes of immunosuppression. Now these don't cause stasis or cause ascending cholangitis it just makes it more likely that the immune system won't be able to deal with any infection and it progress to perforation peritonitis and sepsis investigations as always inflammatory markers are elevated so raised crp raised dsi you can have leukocytosis as well then you would have an obstructive picture or cholestatic picture on your liver function test so you'll have a raised ggt and alt as well as potentially raised ALP, which is another obstructive sign, as well as raised transaminases, so ALT and AST. Imaging includes an abdominal ultrasound, so you may be able to visualize any gallstones as shown on the left, left and the sending cholangitis itself as shown on the right. You may also see signs of the underlying cause, so dilated common bile duct, Thickened bile duct walls or underlying cause. So, dilated common bile duct is common if you have gallstones or pancreatic cancer. Management so you want to treat any infection, and this is an emergency, so you can't wait for cultures and sensitivities to come back. So, you do empirical IV antibiotics. IV because this works the fastest, it's, you're literally putting it into the bloodstream. And gentamicin for gram negative, ampicillin gram positive, and metronidazole for anaerobes or you know GI organisms that may translocate. Then you can do an ERC paste, so this should be done within one to two days, and this has both diagnostic and therapeutic effects. The ERCP could see any gallstones or strictures or malignancy, but importantly, it can also drain the fluid. Remember, when the fluid is static, it's a medium for bacteria to grow. So you drain the fluid, you take out the fluid, and you can decompress and address any underlying cause. So you know, take out any gallstones, stent any strictures. And finally, you can consider cholecystectomy, not during the sending cholangitis because of the risk of perforation peritonitis and sepsis is accentuated because that's a risk anyway for any procedure. So you maybe wait a few weeks, wait for the infection to resolve, and then remove the gallbladder as per you know usual goldstone treatment if goldstone was the cause of the sending cholangitis. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did please tell a friend who may also find it useful.